my guest uh, for coming today, Sergeant Kuhn. Uh, you're doing an awesome job, and uh, we want to. This whole program is to encourage young men and women with no clear vision of what you're going to do in the future to explore the military. Realize that if you don't have uh, money for college, that the military is a great place to start. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next week. Okay, good evening. This is Almani tonight. Your host, Arturo Sparsa. Little Jamie's out, so I'm taking on over. Tonight's guests are Nick Serrano, superintendent of the Almani Union High School District, Jose Luis Zavala from Aslan Athletics, the president and CEO of Raul Esquivel. And we also have Rick J. Garcia in there just to cheer them on. And, of course, our musical master of ceremonies as always mr robert colvin so robert bring us on in buddy <laughs> Can applaud. Don't be shy, okay? Can we? This, see, that's why I love it when we have the little kids in here. They love applauding. You know, we get all these professional adults and everything. They just sit there like, okay, well, that's good. This is Arturo Sparza, Amani tonight, and uh, as I said, little Jamie is under the weather, so she'll be back. I know that's why I didn't want to show my mug to you, but we have a lot of good things in store and some great guests coming your way here on Amani tonight here on beautiful Time Warner Channel Three in the heart of. El Monte, California, the Beverly Hills of the San Gabriel Valley. So, just want to remind people once again that they're going to have the Dia de los Muertos, and it's a free community artistic and cultural celebration of life, and this will be October 27th, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Valley Mall in beautiful El Monte, and it's sponsored and in partnership with the Downtown El Monte Business Association. So, you want to go down there, I'm sure they'll have a lot of uh, activities, probably face painting and all kinds of good stuff that they have out there. So please support your local businesses. Come on down. Go check it out. You can't miss. Okay, we also have the unveiling of the Centennial Mural. And that is sponsored by the city of, uh, city of Zamora, Mexico, and the artist 
Rivera Novia. Tuesday, October 30th, 2012, and that's going to be at City Hall East, right next door to us, at 11333 Valley Boulevard in beautiful El Monte. There will be light refreshments, light refreshments served. Please contact the city manager's office at 626-580-2001 for reservations. You want to go down there, be part of this, because on the 17th, we're having the big gala uh, 100th anniversary celebration for the city of El Monte. And, of course, our talented music maker himself, Robert Colvin, will be performing there, and you get a chance to see him uh, live. And let me tell you, nothing can replace what a wonderful talent this man has, and we're just so proud of him. Be proud of yourself, Robert. You're a good man. Okay, uh, we have people that are interested in helping out in the Holiday House. We, uh, there's an interest application available here at City Hall. It's due by October 18th, okay? So we're running very, very late. If you don't have it already in, you might want to go check about that. Okay, and that is, you can just come down here, call Parks and Rec at 626-580-2200. Okay, so you want to get catch up, don't be on the late freight. Alrighty, we're going to turn on over because we want to get our first guest up there. Just want to remind people, we're going to have people talking about the Aslan 5K Classic Run Walk. This has gone on for like over 20 years, and this is going to be at East Los Angeles College. And the guy, a couple of guys that sponsor this and work with this are going to be talking to us in just a few minutes, so we'll be able to touch base on that further. So, Robert, give us some more tunes, buddy. And we'll be back at you here in our money tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that's Robert Colvin doing his thing. You know what? What I love about this man, he is just commensurate professional. There could be 1,200 things going on around him, and he, he keeps going. He just keeps going. You know, and he learned this. He learned this working for the city because he has so many people around him all talking and buzzing. I tell you, it's incredible. That's why, that's why they hire you, Robert. You know that. Hey, 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 hey. I'll tell you. Let's have some respect. Okay, we got the two shot now. I know we do. Okay, next to me, the long-awaited appearance of the superintendent for the Almonte Union High School District, Nick Soderno. How are you doing, Nick? I'm good, Arturo. How are you? Good. Give a round of applause, please. Don't sit there. You didn't... <laughs> hey, you didn't pay to get in, but you're going to pay to get out. So I tell you, so how are you doing? What's the latest? I'm doing well. I, well, I want to thank you for um, asking me to be a guest this evening. I want to thank the city of Almonte so I can share some information about uh, exciting things in our school district. Well, there's always some exciting things. I know that because the school district is so awesome. And, you know, we have two of the products from that school district working for us. And we'll talk about that later. Anyway, <laughs> so what's going on? I know that you're working with, what is it, the Children's Defense Fund? Or is that the... Uh, that's correct, Arturo. We're working with the uh, Children's Defense Fund initiative. And it's in conjunction with the American School Administrators Association. So this is a program where we can enroll... Uh, students and families into low-cost or no-cost uh, health care. So um, we, we've done a lot of outreach in order to get the word out on that. Um, we have a, a box actually on our enrollment form that people can check if they don't have uh, insurance and then we can follow up with phone calls and put them in touch with um, different entities that can help. So there's uh, quite a few programs that can serve the students and families. Uh, again, at low cost or no cost, and uh, it's for all types of different situations. So um, we encourage people to enroll. We want the students to be healthy when they come to school. Uh, obviously, that helps them with their academic achievement if they're feeling well and they're healthy. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's a worthwhile cause. Now, to your knowledge, is like this school district like the only one in San Gabriel Valley? Are there others, or is this like you guys cutting edge here? Or? Uh, actually, we're with a federal pilot program, so... Uh, they're working with our school district and Mountain View School District on this pilot. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think there's about 10 in the nation, as I recall. Wow. And so what they'll do is take the data and, and look at best practices, you know, what worked well, what didn't work as well, and then try to replicate the program in other areas of the country. So then you guys are the guinea pigs. The We're the program. guinea pigs, wow, but it's man. good for kids, so I'm all for it. Oh, that's beautiful. A round of applause, please, for this. Man. Thank you. Normally we have a bigger audience, but I think we <laughs> locked them out to early today. <laughs> and one went out to go answer his phone. No, but that, I, one thing I do know about the district, because, you know, I worked for the district for a few years, and uh, is that it's always on the cutting edge. There's a lot of innovative kind of styles in, in education, mm -hmm. services provided to the community, the, the kind of things that you don't expect, okay? You always hear about the big urban areas, mm -hmm. but you don't see that out of here like in a more suburban setting. And, and I think that's so impressive because the kids do need that healthy kind of situation. And, and the city right now is very on this big wellness campaign. Right. So we're, we're really trying to, you know, step it up. And I, and I see that you have it going and you're uh, working with a good friend of ours. She was on our show. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it today, uh, Lorena. But I know she was telling, speaking so highly about working with, the, with you in the district that I, I was saying, yeah, we got to get him out of here. We got to get him out of here. No. What can I say? The thing I get scared of when we try to get people on, they don't want to come back. <laughs> or sometimes they do come back, then we're in trouble. You'll be in trouble. I'll be back. <laughs> we want you to be there. I want you to be a regular. He's only across the street. I mean, come on. If we build a bridge, we could talk to him. So is that the only program going on, or do you have something else? We cooking? have tons of programs. How much time do you have for me tonight? Well, we'll find out. We can always edit later. Okay. You know? <laughs> All right. Um, well, if we're talking about health issues, um, we have fitness and wellness programs. Uh, there's after-school program at South Almonte High School. It's called the 50-50-50, so it's an after-school fitness program. Uh, Rosemead High School has a Kellogg breakfast program, uh, and they try to get word out to the students and community about the importance of having a healthy breakfast. Um, we have a farm, uh, farm to school produce program oh, for three cool. of our schools. That's so, beautiful. you know, fresh uh, fruits and vegetables for the students. 
So uh, there's a lot of different things. We have full physical education programs, athletic programs. So um, I, know, I know Rose Mead, they have a cafeteria. Let me tell you, when I used to work there, uh, I loved it because they gave us breakfast. We would get breakfast. They, they would be, seriously, they'd have a pr uh, kid come around, give you a list. What do you want to order? This was awesome. And the food was delicious. I mean, I, I, it was crazy. I was so spoiled. I always wanted to go back there. So along those lines, we have two culinary art programs. So one is at Rosemead High School. There's another one at Mountain View High School. So students that are interested in that type of career and profession for the future, we have special programs there for them. And some are partnered, uh, for example, with Cal Poly Pomona, Panda Express. Um, there's a couple other partners. I think Claim Jumper is one of the partners. And uh, like I said, the Collins School of Education at uh, Collins School of Culinary Arts at Cal Poly Pomona. Yeah, that was a quiz. We're going to be tested yeah. in another yes. week. <laughs> Make yeah. sure. Well, that's beautiful. But let, now let's shift the focus. We got to know who is this man? Who is Nick? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to school? Well, I grew up in El Monte, so I, I'm very proud that I've uh, been in this community my entire life. I went through schools from the El Monte City School District. Mm -hmm. So I went to Clementson School, Rio Hondo School and I'm a proud graduate of Arroyo High School in our high school district. So um, pretty much I've been here my whole life. Round of applause, please, because we love Arroyo. <laughs> we know that. I have to say I love all our schools. Well, I, see, I you do. have to say that. I can, I can be prejudiced. But, I, but I can honestly say that I do love all our schools. No. We, we have great kids to work with. No, you really do. You really do. And let me tell you, the kids are awesome, and they, and they go on to do so many wonderful things. I think one thing that really surprised me and it shouldn't have surprised me I, you know i have to take that back but i was surprised we did uh, the veterans um bike run about a year ago and that was my first time when we were starting to work with the city mm -hmm. doing the shows mm -hmm. i ran into so many of my former students working public works police cadets i mean they were like in every aspect and, and here's the here's the kicker folks and i mean this is, these were kids that i figured Man, they sometimes they come late to class, or sometimes they wouldn't turn in their homework and all that stuff. And they're the ones that excelled the furthest. And I'm watching them, and I'm just so impressed. And, and it touches you. See, as it an does. educator from that level, and you know this, we're like farmers. We plant seeds. Sometimes we never get a chance to see what, what sprouts. And I was very right. blessed because I got a chance to see these kids from three, four, six years ago. That and then here they are, and they're patrolling the streets and setting right. us up for you know all the big wigs. And I was really, really impressed. I mean, it's just really good. It's it's good stuff, and it really. It really touches the heart because you always wonder about our kids nowadays, you know, and, and they're in good hands. In this district, they're in some of the best hands possible, and I know that. Well, that, it is gratifying, and I get reminders every day. As you said, I see uh, officers on the El Monte PD, people working in public works. Uh, many of our teachers and educators are graduates of our school district. So, um, you know, you see that progress and you see that success. It, it's extremely gratifying, and um, I, I've seen improvements over the years that we've made as a school district that I know will pay off for students, uh, current students and students in the future as well. well that's so fantastic. that's exciting. Well, well, where'd you go to college? What's uh, I went and to don't, Cal don't say oh. SC, please. No. I got that last <laughs> week and I'm not that I have anything. Look, I have nothing against SC. I'm a UC grad myself. Well, my dad went to USC. I went to Cal Poly Pomona. Okay, very yeah, good. And very I was good. very fortunate. I had a great education there. Uh, I was very fortunate. I was able to play baseball for a phenomenal coach wow. who taught us uh, not only about baseball, but a lot of life lessons. In many of his teachings, uh, I was able to use those strategies as a teacher and then later as a counselor, uh, as an administrator, and, and um, has been very uh, supportive as far as using things I learned there in this profession. Well, you've done quite well. I know that. You can give him a round of applause. Don't, don't act like you're asleep. <laughs> That's a, you know, it's a, quite an accomplishment, let me tell you. He's gone through, he's gone through, worked his way up through the ranks. Because I remember when I started with the district, you were what, uh, handling the business department? Or you were dealing with some of the stuff that we had a uh, financial? Was that the no, case? Or they just no, no, that? no, I was in personnel for a while. But, okay. Uh, but I've been every, every level of administrator at the school sites. And I was principal at El Monte High School for seven years. Okay. Uh, and then I was in the personnel office at the district for one year and then educational services for nine years. That's what I think it was probably, because I saw you everywhere. So I was like, okay, this man is here, there, and everywhere. And that happens in this district, let me tell you. I thought they were cloning principals for a while. Because <laughs> like, I'd go to one school and then there's another one there. But that, that's so fantastic. You know, you know what we're planning, and I'll let you, let you in on this because, you know, it's going to incorporate what, what you're doing. We have um, 
starting thinking of doing like a 5K. We have these gentlemen that, that mm-hmm. uh, do 5Ks, and I s- spoke to uh, Mayor Pro Tem, and he was really behind it about doing one here in Almani next year. And we're going to be approaching the uh, the high schools to see the cross country kids and so well, that'd be to great to track and cross country get em, fit get right em going. in. Yeah, so mm-hmm. you know we want to do that. So that's why I'm putting you on the spot. Okay, that you're going to support them on this, right? Absolutely. So we can get this going because we're going to put a lot of buzz, a lot of press mm-hmm. on this. We want to make sure we want to show people all the wonderful things that happen here in Omani. And this is one of the best because we're going to try to do that in conjunction with uh, the Diabetes Association. Mm-hmm. So we can bring down that childhood obesity. Like some of my fat kids here. <laughs> but I think one of the things we could do is if we can get um, not only our students, but some of the students from the elementary school districts, sure. then we can get our coaches involved. And I know that we will get students who really enjoy that, and then they can transition into our high school cross-country and track program. So that would be an awesome thing. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right. Now, now that they applaud. <laughs> now they applaud. <laughs> Boy, that was good, man. I, we should say that all the time. I'm just going to say that. I'll just say 5K. Yeah! <laughs> Think about not tooting their own horn. Gee whiz. So what, what, what boats for the future? What's the future right now? Do you have anything on the horizon that you're thinking of? Well, we, uh, there's a couple things we already have in place that we are um, working on even expanding and improving. So the first one, uh, we have Rio Hondo Partnership for College. Uh, and that's an excellent, excellent uh, thing for our students, and that's district-wide. So uh, under that program, uh, we have grade-level meetings with every student. It's supported by our partners at Rio Hondo College, UC Irvine, and Cal State LA. Uh, we use a, a system, it's called the Transcript Evaluation Service, and we actually were a pilot. It was developed through the University of California Office of the President, so we're one of the pilot districts, so our students get uh, customized transcript each year and it shows them whether they are meeting close to meeting or not meeting the A through G requirements for uh, Cal State and UC admission so uh, we've seen a great increase in our college enrollment because of that partnership uh, and then the next piece to that is the Almonte Union Pledge Compact so uh, with that compact our students get, if they go to Rio Hondo College, they get priority registration, wow. which is huge now. It is. <laughs> because of all the budget cuts, students are having a hard time getting classes. So our first semester students that transition from our school district to Rio Hondo get priority registration. They get all their classes. So that gets them off to a good start. In addition to that, if they meet certain criteria, they could go directly from us to UC Irvine or Cal State LA automatic admission. If they don't meet that criteria, they can go to Rio Hondo, meet criteria put in place there, and then transition to UCI or Cal State LA automatic admission. So it's a phenomenal uh, opportunity for all of our students. Did, did you get that? Yeah. Did you get that, Eduardo? You took advantage of it, right? I did. Okay. So you got all your classes. Yep. I'm Excellent. Checking. Yeah, a little round of applause for Eduardo. Yeah. Yeah. I like West Well, You know, that young man, he's the... He's the last man standing of our original interns, really. He's been, you know, been with us since, oh, got to be a year almost, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's been with us and he stuck it out. So I, Very good. I, I expect big things from this young man. Then he can pay me back my 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then watch him disappear, yeah. right? <laughs> say, where did he go? So, no, you know, it's fantastic. And you know you're going to be a, a regular. We want you to come on back. Uh, I'll be back. At least, uh, I would like it at least once a month if you can make Okay. It. Especially during the holidays because we got good things happening here. We got, our, of course, I trust you'll be there for our 100th anniversary celebration. And also, you know, we're going to do a Christmas special. This will be the first one on Almani TV. It'll be okay. a two-hour special. We're going to have a lot of our returning best guests, and I'd like to think that you're one of them. Okay, the absolutely. I'll be here whenever you need me. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can pick the lock to my office. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. My I pleasure. It. My this pleasure. Thank you. Okay. We're going we're gonna to take some B-roll because I know Robert's ready to play. We're going to go with some uh, Ray Carrion. He's our good friend, and he'll be uh, – He's been performing a lot of things here during uh, as well for the city, and we're going to have him be coming doing some other events for us in the near future. So we just want to be able to uh, toot our own horn. So if you're ready back there in the out-of-control room, I think they are. They fell asleep back there.